Okay, guys. Hey, I got um, another. This is the second um, sort of mystery kit um, that followed the gardening kits. Um, and again, thank you so much to. I had I listed nine kits and I sold eight of them. There's one left in my Etsy store, um, and it's free shipping to the U.S., free shipping to Canada, um, and you can check out the shipping rates for everywhere else. It's a really good deal in their pack. So. There were two mystery kits. Um, one uh, is the cookbook kit, the children's cookbook, uh, cooking with mom or dad or whomever, grandma. Um, and this one um, is similar to the gardening kits. So what I've added in here is a bunch of goodies. So you've got a stamp. Whoops, I don't know which way that goes, guys. You got a stamp that's never been used and you've got a green piece of polka dot to make a tab i think there might be some of that green uh, fabric in the fabric part of this here is a broken jewelry piece and it's not necessarily broken it's just one earring and it's a really pretty thin butterfly and you've got some flowers and you got some of sophia's beautiful flowers thank you sophia these are lovely my dear You've got some paper clips and some buttons and a dragonfly. All right, so that's that little a tiny lot. And for the ribbons, um, it's pretty much the same as the gardening um, as the gardening kit. Uh, let me just show you. I did add in. Um, there's a few more florals there for you to sew onto your pages. I did add in, um, oh, and by the way, these blue florals, not every uh, garden kit got these, but these blue, I tried to put them in all, maybe I did put them in every one, but all of them got flowers, but these are from one of my aunt's blue roses. I showed it a long time ago in my video, and I took it apart so that you guys can play around with it, and that's one of her flowers as well, my great auntie. Um, let's see, there's one more of Sophia's flowers okay and then this is some sorry silk from Lisa at pin and hook on Etsy if you go check her um, out tell her I sent you over that way sometimes she'll give you a discount if you mention my name sometimes that's not all the time and don't hold me to that but you might um, just say can you give me a discount Renee sent me over to you Renee from GT design sent me over she has some really good sorry silk um, and this is like the lace lot how much time do I have okay let me hurry guys I'm trying to I while I'm showing you guys this I'm gonna try my best to get so much better at um, minimizing my videos because I talk too much I talk way 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 too much too much talking too much talking <laughs> I need to cut it cut it cut it okay there's some uh, eyelet and I dyed that with the uh, Tim Holtz um, ink I think it's broken china or something like that and there's a teal piece there's another little skein of sorry silk in ivory vintage color and some ribbon lace and and if you don't like gathered lace um, I saw someone say I can't remember who a long time ago that you could cut um, you know down the edges or whatever and it'll flatten out um, the lace if you if you don't like the gather lace but some of you do um, I try to put it all in there just in case because you know for new customers you know if I'm not familiar with what you like all right so there's the ribbons and these will all go in this pretty little bag all of that will okay and then for um, paper let me see if I can do this. I have my usual. So I've got in here, let me just show you guys know, and this way it'll keep me from talking so much. Um, if you if you don't know my style in terms of curating kits and putting together junk journal packs and restash packs for you guys, um, just watch a few videos. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell, and that way you know whenever I'm going to list um, new things, new items, um, which is not every day or all the time but it, it's pretty free frequent um, there's my usual on that page there's one of my gigantic 
epic um, ledger papers. It's big. It's huge. <laughs> uh, let's see. There's some pink avocado dyed paper. And that's hand dyed by me. That's why my kits are a little tiny bit pricey just because of the hand dyed paper, the vintage, um, and the linens and uh, hankies and things like that. And the books, of course. You might be able to guess um, where this is going. It is a garden theme, but it's a specific classic. And some of you have yelled it out probably already. There's some orange to break up the monotony <laughs> uh, of color, if you can even have monotony of color. I don't think you can, but that orange is sort of on its own vibrant. More ledger paper, yellow ledger paper. All right. And then you've got a beautiful doily. Love, 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 love. Uh, let's see. Some music paper. Um, Paw Paw Patch. Just some strong um, uh, old vintage book page. Orchids. And I have them upside down. So let me not talk, guys, because you've seen a lot of this different but the idea is still there the concept doesn't change it's just yellow copy paper this is a beautiful um, image from an old book um, very different from the book Sophia gave me I love the book she gave me but I had a couple of um, sunflower and wildflower books that were pretty large. Um, and so I threw some of those pages in there. And look at the grasshopper. Look at the grasshopper. Can we please just pause? And what about this little red bird? How freaking adorable is that little tiny red bird? Oh my God. So cute. And the rabbits, the music notes. Love, 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 love this image. just adorable and there's frogs and look at the ants down here at the bottom Um, if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome and thank you for stopping in and taking a peek. Um, I add black and whites to gardening or, you know, colorful things to sort of give color um, a break and give the eye a break. But really it just depends on what the artist wants to do um, and how you guys use um, these materials. I don't make junk journals, um, but I certainly uh, do put together and curate supplies enough for you to make one, two, maybe three junk journals. Or you can use some of these to gift, um, some pieces to gift to friends, to put in happy mail, to make for your pen pal mail, which I think is fun. I think pen paling is fun. I can't, I just don't have the time for that. There's no way my brain will allow me the space and the energy and the time to pen pal. Um, but I think it is so fun and mail art is just amazing. Um, the only thing is with my items, um, they are vintage. So, you know, you want to get the best, best, best use out of them. Um, and certainly mail art uh, is a good way to share vintage pieces. That's some wrapping paper with a water pail and some florals. There's one of um, the pieces from that book, beautiful book Sophia gave me. That's a plate. There's nothing on the back of that. And it's a really nice card stocky paper. Look at that.
Look at the eggplants. Wallpaper, vintage. And these are illustrations um, of bulbs and flowers, and that's still intact. A purple envelope because envelopes are useful. You need them. They they work. <laughs> they have a really good purpose in junk journals and art books. They are just a necessity. Those and paper clips. Especially when you get the colorful envelopes. For all the note takers out there, colorful envelopes work. Trust me. Vintage writing paper. Vintage. Letterhead. Um, not letterhead. Stationery. Index cards for you to write down different gardening moments or to collect your thoughts or to uh, record uh, moments in your garden and this is so pretty and you can easily turn this into a um, journaling spot that's beautiful there's another pink card it does have a little soiling spot there but you'll probably coffee dye it and art it up anyway there's an ivory and then here I've put these in my kits always guys uh, um, you know especially the garden ones uh, Dutch spring um, garden and I just I don't know I grabbed these oh my gosh three years ago um, there was a thick book of them and I thought hmm people might really like artists might really like having these um, 1990s pages uh, of flowers in their garden books um, and so I grabbed two of them they were about I don't know a set of 10 or something like that but I took a chance and grabbed two um, and obviously um, they work for you guys because you guys, you like them and you use them. Um, and in this case, I picked Sweet Inspiration, Early Summer Bed, a Dutch Spring Garden, and Simplicity. So those are really nice to add into your journals. And you can fold those pages in, make pockets with them, whatever. And there's a lot of people um, you can probably watch to see actually how to do that. Uh, because I, I don't make journals um, or have tutorials on how to do that, but I can supply you what you need. Um, these are really pretty. Those are another staple uh, in my kits as well. And then here's a greeting card. You can sew that right in. And some mushrooms. In a different language. Love that. Things to do. And I put this in here. This is kind of bizarre, but when you see the book that I have, um, I won't show it to you yet till the end. But when you see the book that I have um, here, uh, maybe that might make sense. But you can always take this out and use it for something else. It's pretty whimsical and um, sort of enchanting, right? There's some birds. And the hummingbird, and I specifically, my daughter's favorite bird of all birds is was the hummingbird and I specifically saved this one for this kit uh, just because of the book dandelions dandelions are beautiful and strong we see them as weeds and cut them down all the time but they still come back um, Toni Morrison is a wonderful um, African-American author who in the bluest eye um, writes about uh, includes dandelions and in, in the strength of a, of a dandelion and sort of compares it to a little brown girl there's a guitar that's a coloring book page. This is really cute. Um, this is so cute. This book is so old, guys. It's from the 40s. Um, but it's got some pretty uh, cool images. And it's it's pretty um, durable, this paper. It looks like it's really fragile. It is because of the age. But it's got some patina and marks and coloring. But the pages are pretty strong. Um, I think they are. There's some tiny book page. That's an end paper record. Records. And there's another one there with some butterflies. 14 minutes. There's a paper bag. Thank you, Kristen. There is a napkin. Some ephemera. She's just kind of wallowing by the bird bath. Chilling out. I don't know how women could be dressed in high heels. But she's got her books and some cards and all kinds of stuff. And look at the little gardening packets in her 
lap and she's got her notebook i love that image that's so cute love the bird bath that's how my great my great aunties and my great grandmother's backyard looked just like that they had a bird bath um really really amazing um uh green thumbers they were very very much green thumbers and this is a pretty card that you can turn into with the original envelope unsigned into a journaling spot ephemera ephemera Some of those old vintage 1990s or I don't know when office cards, a time card, a flash card, and then one of my avocado die cards and a coffee die card, a flash card with the princess, ladybug, I always think of Rita Donnelly, loving my journal by Rita Donnelly too, a little tiny baby envelope a doily and these are just little tiny contemporary pieces there's some tickets some yellow tickets and blue blue and yellow and then some little glassine bags and then i avocado dyed um, some tiny glassine bags and i thought those were really cute when you get um when you buy um this kit for me i usually will take a giant one of these well, eight and a half by something and fill it with ephemera so this was my first time uh, avocado dyeing the baby ones these little tiny ones I do have some coffee dyed larger ones um, that's what my happy mail is going out in um, well those and some bigger pieces but yeah some of the smaller happy mail packs there's another little another little envelope and then there's one of Gail's lost um, uh, relatives I love those I'm so glad she gave me those I think those are cute and just look at her dress and her bow she's beautiful and not only that she goes perfect with this uh, kids theme let me scoop this aside and move the fabric over and I'll show you the book okay so thank you Gail for that so for fabric I've got one of my curbside daisy pieces now this kit won't get all of this but i haven't cut it yet but i will cut a good deal of this beautiful rose here is a vintage hanky with some daffodils on there it's really pretty here's two little doilies and i've featured this before and i'm just i think this is it i've got some other little tiny pieces but i'm just about done with this whole uh, beautiful piece here it's linen um it's got some marks here but you can work with it you'll probably coffee dye it or grunge it up or cut it out or maybe you might just use the poppies there but it's there i've got one of these retro um hankies fabric hankies there the kit will get a piece of this fabric and I have not cut it out yet there's quite a bit of it here um, so I'll be sure to cut out a good deal of it this is that um, shiny um, somebody you guys keep trying to educate me on what you call specific fabrics but guys forget it I'll never get it I just won't get it um I can't remember but it's chintz or something like that I don't know but anyway it's really shiny um, you can kind of see and it is quite lovely i love that so there'll be a piece of that in there there's a piece of the feed sack um pieces that i found and that's hand worked and stitched on the back and hand totally handmade totally feed sack totally vintage 100 percent. there's a long piece of this that beautiful flower there's a piece of my great auntie's um, fabric right from her house, her estate. Um, you can see her sewing stitching in there. And some of her things, I pulled pins out where she had this, these things literally pinned into pattern pieces. I still have some. Um, I'm running low on the little daisy parts of her fabric, but I still have a little bit of this left. There's some feed sack there. And there's some pretty fabric there and some green and that piece and these little tulips or whatever you call those and there's some roses and there's some butterflies with florals and some berries 
and more roses clusters there's some of that and some of that and a piece of that which is beautiful I love that some purple and green and here is some more silkier kind of fabric you can use that in strictly a garden kit here um, this kit got one of the birds um, from these pieces I didn't have very much of this but this kit specifically got a bird I just cut it up and divided it out um, but it makes sense for the book um, here is a piece of feed sack I love this I think that is so pretty here is a hanky another one so you get one with the daffodils and you get this one and this one is really pretty because it has butterflies on it and you get a piece of this um, I used that in some of my uh, tattered gypsy kits I think it works in a tattered gypsy kit I think it'll work for this so-called theme kit um, and then finally you get this beautiful doily here which is just gorgeous um, there you can kind of see it and if you go back and look at some of my footage on when I'm out scavenging and hunting for things you'll know where this came from because I showed it on on the video um, I said ooh I gotta go get a basket <laughs> so there's that lovely doily I did not cut that up or chop it up okay um, and then finally here is the book with some of the pages it's the secret garden I've gutted it for you um, you can work with a child um, in teaching him or her how to make a junk journal or you can certainly use this classic for yourself and I love the little red bird I love the garden I love all the foliage um, just everything about it her pink dress her head uh, bandana her headband um, it's just gorgeous um, it came away nicely one reason why I don't like to wear nail polish um, when I'm doing these videos is because when I try to pick up things the nail polish um, gets onto um, papers and, and stuff and I try to be so careful um, but in this case usually I'm pretty successful um, when I was gutting this book it got onto there are a couple of scratches here and here but it's still beautiful nonetheless okay and you do get um, quite a few uh, pages with the book you won't get all of them and I do that so that the book will actually be used for junk journaling um, if I wanted to sell the book as a whole on my Etsy store um, it would probably just sit there and I just I like for you guys to repurpose um, and I like to supply items that you can repurpose. Okay, so that's it guys. Um, this is going to be it for a couple of days until I get my bearings straight. Um, and I will be back um, with some other kits. I've got, um, I've got a couple of other little surprises that I won't say just yet of other kits that I'm working on and that I've started to curate um, the boy survival kit and the yellow kit I'm still throwing things down into those boxes so those won't be up anytime soon um, because I'm just beginning um, with those so I've got some that I've sort of I'm kind of midway there so to speak um, and those will be ready um, I don't know fairly soon we'll see we'll see how time goes um, I have not napped in the middle of the day at two o'clock in the day um, for two days and I'm kind of grouchy about it <laughs> I'm just kind of grouchy because I want a nap man I want a nap but for the last two days I'm like wow I missed my nap and I kind of missed it I don't nap every day guys but I do get my naps in um, because yeah naps are just awesome they're so good for you anyway okay I better stop here that's it um, so all of this will be in my Etsy store um like soon um the magazines the western magazines and the um uh the cookbook kit my mom's little doll dress um and this kit so that's what you can look forward to and you may have to just my internet service is so slow because i'm in rural 
yeehaw part of Texas. I am in the rural part of Texas and our internet is so slow as, in terms of uploading. So I usually have to make my videos and then go to the university and upload them. And that's probably what I'll have to do for these. So, you know, just check my Etsy store um, and send me a line there if you're interested in something. I'm not doing any custom orders though. Not yet. Um, I just cannot um, right now. At some point in time in the future, I will do those again, but I can't right now. However, it's really cool um, to know what people are looking for because um, like if you say something in your video, if I watch your video, I'm going to pare down on uh, I think like five people um, in terms of watching videos. So I've narrowed it back down <laughs> to, narrowed it down a little bit to people that, um, you know, that I, I don't know, that I just enjoy watching and learn a lot from. Um, and they have really good, wholesome um, substance. You know, everyone does for the most part. But, you know, anyway, uh, let's see. What was I going to tell you? So it's kind of cool when you mention things in your videos of what you're missing or what you like or what you need or something like that. Because I usually, if I have something like that, um, you know, I may just drop a line and say, hey, you know, um, pop me your address or whatever. And, um, but I can't do that always, guys. That's just a once in a every now and then kind of thing. Cause I'm still sending out happy mail to my repeat customers, um, to people who have literally purchased and bought things for me. Um, they, or people who have sent me journals, they are getting, um, you know, priority in terms of you know me trying to dig through and find the best of the best of something I have um, to send out but every now and then I do so anyway okay I better stop talking I've talked way too much again all right guys have a good weekend and have a good week um, I hope your work week is wonderful um, I have I'm not even sure how many more weeks I have off before school starts um, I'm trying to get an article published, um, and I haven't worked on it very much. I've put it aside and procrastinated on it, um, and I'll pick it up again maybe when school starts because I'll be super busy. So, yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing and where I'm, where I am. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Have a beautiful day, beautiful night, beautiful evening, wherever you are in this world. I hope your moment is fulfilled with love and fun and crafty goodness and um, any and all things that make you feel great. Okay, orale pues, sale pues.